all forms of dance music, pop music, contemporary music, anything that you like and you know and you love and you rave to are a black origin. Know that, love that, respect that. That's what this post is about today. It's not about one more thing in any type of way at all. We're not pushing any of our own agenda, any of our own articles or anything like that. I just literally come here to say that and acknowledge it because it's Black History Month. And that's really, really important. Really important. Now, I, I'm always super, super wary um, and super suspicious of all brands that jump on awareness months and things like that. Uh, I think you can really, really see when something is contrived and when people are just ticking a particular marketing box or anything like that. And I've been really, really conscious um, to never do that and never exploit a situation. But we deal we deal explicitly in black music culture. So for me to not make this post would be fucking weird, to be honest with you. Um, so I just want to acknowledge and celebrate and send love to all of my black friends and my black peers and everybody of colour and from the African and Asian diaspora um, and acknowledge that some of the best music, some of this amazing, life-changing music, when you travel back, when you go back, through the origins and the roots of all contemporary music. Like, it comes from the shittest examples, the worst examples of what humans, white humans, have done centuries ago, but that still rumbles on to this very day. It's the fact why we have Black History Month. It has to exist because we've been so poorly educated, especially in the UK, but all across Europe, but especially in the UK. So we need to educate ourselves and we need to make sure that we are moving towards genuine equality, genuine empathy, genuine understanding. Um, and there's definitely progress has been made. But for me as a white person say that, I'm not going to say like, oh, we're, we're getting there. We're not. We're not at all. Loads more acknowledgement, understanding, love and reparations need to be made. Um, I, got, I, got to, I really want to keep this succinct. It's not my place to preach. It's my place. I want to inform. I want to inspire. I want to open doors. I want to smash down boundaries. That's what One More Thing does. Um, and that's why I'm highlighting this and why I'm talking like this and why I'm so fucking serious about this. Like, um, I've highlighted, I decided, like, because usually on these updates, I'm kind of highlighting loads of things that we're doing. I wanted to just like point out some amazing resources where you can find out more. If, you, if you're understanding where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about and you want to know more and you want to show love and respect for your black friends and your black brothers and sisters and you want to understand more about the music and you want to make sure that more people are brought in and ushered into the scene that there's no exclusivity, that there's no type of gentrification or anything and that we, honestly, we are really celebrating the roots and the people and making this as fair as we can, then these are some really interesting resources which pop up onto my feed all of the time. I engage with all of these platforms in lots of different ways. So I wanted to highlight them. Um, so there's, first thing um, for me is Sludge Mag. Like Sludge Mag have been amazing. Um, I regularly, like I support them. I am, they're on my feed. They, they're a news outlet, like a straight up news outlet, a black owned news outlet, outlet which covers like sport, culture, art, music, uh, everything. Their posts are really well made. They succinctly get to the core of a lot of discussions and a lot of arguments and stuff. I find them incredibly informative. Um, I believe they're based in Leicester. Um, but yeah, they're like Sludge Magazine. There's um, a link to a very particular resource that they've got on their website with anti-racist literature. Um, and it's all types of articles. Like It's fascinating. Um, I want to shout out DJ Ron and London something. Um, from one interview to another, like like um i've been interviewing for 25 years um, and i sit back and i'm in awe of ron um because it, i mean he has a completely different perspective and a lot of the people that he's interviewing on his youtube channel he grew up with he was part of that movement um so his his interviews come from a whole other level like um and i love his style as well like i've been really lucky to spend a little bit of time with ron and interview him a bunch of times interviewing an interviewer is mad um but yeah like check out every single interview that he's done um they're not all with black artists but that is ron ron will tell you the roots with clarity um da metal messiah as well an amazing instagram account um and also promoter as well um documenting 
proper street and MC culture. Every single post, like the information and the way that it's written and so many details and so many little clips and everything. Like every single post is a schooling. Likewise, DJ Flight as well and her Black Her Story uh, project as well. Um, I've, what I've done is I put a link to her socials and also the cool archives as well um, with some amazing mixes um, from people like Virgo and Amma. Um, they're amazing. There's a whole resource there as well. Flight says it like it is an absolute badass DJ. Um, again, I like her her posts are really really inspiring and really informative so make sure that you're following her and then another one then that i found really really recently while i was thinking about doing this post and while i've been doing loads of reading is the black music project which i've also linked below and i was watching that this one takes us right the way back right the way back like even explaining there's a great video explaining how the banjo which is kind of probably seen as like one of the whitest instruments possible because of it's like hillbilly kind of roots and stuff is actually it, it, it's is an African instrument like everything else like everything else has been appropriated uh, exploited stolen um, and gentrified and I really hope that one more thing is is part of the noise that stops this appropriation stops this gentrification this is a priority for me as a journalist me as a human being and one more thing as a platform there are just a couple of really interesting links there in the description. There's loads more. We have got some more content as well coming out regarding Black History Month. Um, but yeah, I just want to send absolute love to all my black brothers and sisters um, and every, anybody who has experienced racism uh, within the industry. If there's any way that I can help eliminate that awful, nasty, toxic behavior and just be a, a positive grain of sand in what we need to do in the tsunami that we need of human kindness and empathy to move towards a better future, then that's what I want one more thing to be facilitating. Um, I hope you found this post informative. I hope you find the links inspiring. They are a drop in the ocean, um, but we need more. And this this isn't a one-off post. Like... I love black music and everything that I've dedicated my career to comes from black origin. Um, I acknowledge, I respect that and I love that and I've still got so much more to learn. See you tomorrow.